So it, it's dark outside. I just sprayed some spray lacquer on some dice I made. This is an upcoming project. So I'm gonna be doing this from my office today. Here's a little preview of what we've got coming up. Some dice, all kinds of dice everywhere. Oh, might as well show you these two Jenga blocks. Yes, a couple videos for us to do as spring gets closer. But I'm gonna record this video in my office. So here we go. And you know what's in my office, right? Well, one of my last projects, the poster, the poster movie box. I love this thing, it is a, so awesome. Look at that thing, it's lit up now. Let's turn the light off. The camera really doesn't do this justice. But let's get to it. I'm gonna call this project recap and this is number two. So I'm gonna to try to shoot this video here in my office for two reasons. One is I wanna show off this poster like you just saw. And two is because, and I'm not sure why I'm doing the two with the camera today. I guess I'm gonna use my hands. Two is because I just sprayed those dice you saw and I don't wanna really be out there with all the lacquer and fumes. So I'm gonna let that stay in the garage. Again, with the hands, I guess. So, anyway. So, I hope you guys liked the last two videos. I did the cabinet door, which was a practice for building some doors coming up. Probably for the, the big cabinet in the garage. I guess I'm seriously going to use my hands. I don't know if I always do that or if I'm just... Maybe I'm nervous today. Alright, let's try this again. And I'm just kidding because all that's going to be in there. But let's see, we had some comments. I did have one comment, and I'll try to put the comments on the screen again like I did last time, if I can figure out how to do that again. I had some trouble. Um, let's see, the featherboard, yeah, I completely forgot. It was called a featherboard while I was recording. I had a couple of good jobs, and then uh, also about learning. I think I'm gonna try to do these videos a little more often, especially if I can build a practice, practice one ahead of time and show you guys that I don't know everything I'm doing necessarily, and I haven't all done everything I'm, I'm build. And a lot of times in the videos, it looks like it goes together really smooth and, every, and everything, but it doesn't always go that way. So I think I'm gonna try to do a few more of these practice videos. And I actually have a couple ideas coming up in maybe March and April that, we'll, that I'll definitely get to. On the cabinet door, there wasn't a lot of comments. And I don't know that there was a lot of comments on the poster box either. A couple people said, or uh, at least one person I remember said something about me putting the links in the description below for to find all the parts I used. It. Oh, I did have a, a comment for the poster box. Someone saying that they were going to make one, but they were going to they were going to make their own frame instead of using the snap frame. And I was planning on doing that too. And in fact, I did tons of research looking. Because what I wanted to do was take like two pieces of plexiglass and stick them together to take the poster on the inside. And I just couldn't find anything that was, it, was, it all cost about, as it got close to how much the snap frame cost. And I decided, and the reason why I haven't built this sooner is because I was waiting to try to find it cheap, find the parts cheaper. And I finally decided, look, if I'm going to spend... 40 to 50 dollars on the plexiglass I might as well just go ahead and buy the snap frame it's about oh 10 to 15 dollars more and get something that I really like and then if I want to switch out the posters it'll be a lot easier so that's why I'm going with this another comment was about the aluminum tape and I had so much trouble getting it started and someone said that if you tear it instead of let's see where he's let's read this exactly it says, to make it easier to remove the paper off the foil tape, don't cut it, tear it instead. And I, I do believe that would have made it a lot easier. I had so much trouble getting that off. And a lot of times I, when I was editing, I'd watch me on camera struggle for 30, 45 seconds trying to get one of them started. And it was just ridiculous. But not a lot of comments this month, not a lot of questions. I had some questions from, older, from some older videos and I answered those. And if you have any more, just go ahead and leave them. And I'll try to respond to every comment I get if I can. So I appreciate you guys leaving comments. The cabin door, I don't have it here with me because a neighbor stopped by and they saw it and they're like, hey, 
that's kind of cool, but you could put a chalkboard on that. I said, well, here, you can have it. And I gave it away, so I don't even have the practice cabinet door now. So uh, I think they're going to paint it, and I'm not sure what I was going to go on with it. If I, if I see it again, I'll take a picture and show you guys what they ended up doing with it. This video is going to be a little bit shorter, I, I assume. I'm not sure how long I've been recording, but it feels like it's not going to be very long. So thank you guys so much for checking out the poster box and the cabinet door. And if you didn't see them, I'll put links on the screen or in the description or somewhere they'll be there and you can go check them out if you haven't seen them. So thanks again for checking out this project recap video. If you have questions make sure you leave them and I'll try to answer them in a video next month. Like I said I'm going to start doing this on the third, there's my hands again, on the third of the following month. So you'll see another one on April 3rd that will, re that will recap the videos from March. And I'll try to answer all the questions you guys have. So thanks again for watching. And as always, y'all will see me next time.